far away, guys. We got just a little bit of time. Yeah, what, what have the last two weeks been like for you since you got drafted? Most guys are going to a different part of the country and trying to figure things out in your in your gear. What, what have you been doing? Yeah, it was definitely a blessing uh, more than anything. You know, a lot of guys, like you said, cross country. Um, but with me, you know, right after the draft, I got to go right back home and sleep in my bed. So honestly, just it was nice. It was a blessing. How would you describe the last couple of weeks in terms of getting caught up on the football and kind of shifting gears from pre-draft mode back into playing football mode? Uh, well, I mean, I've had help from the staff here. You know, it helped me a lot. You know, Zoom calls, all that sort of stuff. It's kind of making sure that I can grow and learn the playbook as much as I can. Um, they've been installing it kind of slow, step by step. Um, I, I feel like I've been picking it up pretty well. Yeah, Keita, they, uh, they talk to you about, you know, are you definitely left tackle? And uh, well, I'm at left tackle right now. That's what I'm working at during camp. Um, but, you know, Coach Camp knows and the whole staff knows I'm flexible. You know, play wherever they want to play me. Um, but right now, I'm at left tackle, so I'm excited for it. I actually haven't. I told my dad I was going to read it because that's my dad's favorite book. Uh, but no, I never got a chance to read it yet. Was there a, oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead, John. Um, you know, among the things that you feel like you want to work on, what are, what are the biggest things that you want to kind of come in and show in your first week? Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess it's more like my effort work at me, stuff like that, you know, stuff that I put on film already, just showing that, I, you know, I'm the same type of player you know, that I was in college, and I'm just looking to grow on the player that I already was. So really just kind of getting out there and just going 100% every drill, every rep, just showing the guys that, you know, the efforts are always going to be there. Nicky, when you get an NFL playbook from the Panthers, what's different? What do you think the biggest adjustment for you will be? Uh, biggest adjustment, I guess, uh, the whole line's a little bit more involved in knowing like the formations and stuff, whether it's like three by one, two by two, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, at NC State, you know, it's a pretty complex playbook, but you know, it's, it's less of a responsibility to kind of know the formations. So kind of learn like the whole play call instead of just like looking for a number or something like that. It's a little bit different, but I feel like I've adjusted well to it. Iggy, how much, I know this speaks mostly about the rookies, but how much interaction have you had with your other teammates on the offensive line since you got drafted? A little bit, you know, after I got drafted, you know, I got some texts from a couple of different guys, uh, a couple of guys walking through the building this morning as well. So I got to say what's up to you. So, you know, it's kind of nice having a lot of vets, you know, as you can see on the line, you know, Bozeman, Corbett, Moten, um, you know, it's just to name a few. So I'm really excited to be able to kind of be around those guys more and kind of just pick their brain a little bit. What's the best advice you've gotten from them so far? Best advice? You just work. Just work. Uh, and I don't, you know, don't be, don't be scared of being a rookie. You know, obviously there's rookie duties, all that stuff you got to go through. Um, but it's just, you know, it's really just a rite of passage. It's uh, something that can be fun more than anything. So let's be a good rookie and just work hard. It's pretty much the, the best What advice. have they made you do? Go get donuts or something? Oh, no, nothing yet. Nothing oh, okay. yet. Yeah. But I'm kind of anticipating, you know, I'm probably going to have to sing a song or something like that. I'm already getting ready for it. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I was going to ask you, um, you guys were doing some work with like BOSU balls and some tennis balls today. Was that new to you and what was that supposed to mimic? Uh, no, not, not that new. Um, you know, at State we work, use a lot of sandbags, uh, especially you know, individually. That's one of my favorite things to do. That's like uh, away from coaches, the whole offensive line is to do sandbag sets and stuff like that. Bosu ball sets as well. Uh, we, we use like a medicine ball sometimes, uh, but Bosu ball is pretty much the same type of technique, so not, not that new to me. What, I want to ask you also if you had any background prior to this weekend with Matt Corral. Matt Corral, uh, a little bit. Um, just me and my family, like, brief conversation uh, before we went on the red carpet for the draft. Um, it seemed like a cool dude. You know, I got to talk to him uh, on the golf ride uh, cart back over here. So, you know, got looking forward to, you know, developing that relationship, being able to meet with him more and more. What was well, your first impression of him? That we seemed like, like I said, a cool dude, cool, calm, and collected. Um, just kind of just going through the walkthroughs even just this morning, you know, you can see that, you know, the poise in the pocket and you kind of see uh, that he feels like he's ready for the position. Um, you know, you, you can feel like that he's, he's ready and he's going to keep working hard and kind of just keep growing. we got Speaking time for two more, so let's get Ellis. Speaking of something that may be new to you, what is it like going through a practice with so few other offensive linemen involved? Yeah. Are, is it more intense? Are you, you mean, you can have a full offensive line that for seven on seven. Yeah. What is that like? Uh, I mean, it's good, you know, definitely a lot of work in, uh, which is something that, you know, I, I was looking forward to a little bit, kind of just making sure I uh, develop and get really just back into football shape as quick as I can. So definitely, you know, uh, uh, less of a work to rest ratio, um, but definitely great work. And Coach Camp definitely took care of us today. Have, right. you, have you ever experienced anything like that at the high school, college level, or is it, is it 
this the only time I can say that is COVID year. When people gotcha. were dropping like flies. I think one practice we only had like 12 offensive linemen or something like that, which is we usually have around 20, 24. Right. Um, so that was definitely an adjustment. But you know, like I said, you know, uh, coaches are going to always take care of us. All right, let's go to Scott and Zach, and they'll be it. Um, Icky, what weight did you report at? Was it what you wanted to be? And also, does everyone in your life call you Icky? Uh, most people call me Icky. Kind of back and forth, really. Like, I don't really have a preference too much. You know, you can obviously. I like to honor my Nigerian heritage, so, um, you know, I'm obviously proud of my name, so I like being called Ikem, but, you know, I've had the Icky nickname now for, you know, uh, almost 20 years now, uh, so, obviously, you know, I respect both both names, you know, whatever people want to call me, Ikem Icky, you know, no preference. And your weight? My weight, uh, you're right, I weighed in 323. Um, usually, I can play around anywhere between 315, 330. Um, with me, personally, I would like to focus more on, like, the muscle mass. Versus the fat percentage more than like the actual number because I feel like that's a, a little bit better metric. Right. All right, Zach, and then we'll be done. In a setting like this, when you've got guys who are going to be competing to try to make a spot on the roster, you being a top pick, do you have to find yourself like taking the pressure away from yourself to not be like, oh, I got to show out, I got to make sure that I show why I was taking where I was taking? I mean, I feel like with me it's more just like being consistent. You know, they obviously uh, blessed to be drafted number six overall, and they drafted me for a reason. Um, they don't want me to do any more, any less. I don't think they want me to be the same player that they saw, that they evaluated. Um, so I'm just going to be that guy each and every day. All right. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.